Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a topic that affects millions of women, but is often talked about in whispers, uterine fibroids. What are they, how do they form, and what do they mean for your health? Let's get into it. First, what exactly are uterine fibroids? Think of them as non-cancerous growths that develop in or on the walls of the uterus. They're actually quite common, especially during childbearing years, but many women don't even know they have them because they might not cause any symptoms. They can range in size from tiny seedlings, almost undetectable to the human eye, to bulky masses that can distort and enlarge the uterus. So, how do these growths start? The exact cause is still a bit of a mystery, but we know a few key players are involved. It all begins with a single smooth muscle cell in the uterine wall that starts to multiply abnormally. This process seems to be heavily influenced by hormones, particularly estrogen and progesterone. These are the same hormones that regulate your menstrual cycle, causing the uterine lining to prepare for pregnancy each month. It's believed that fibroids have more receptors for these hormones than normal uterine cells, which is why they tend to grow during your reproductive years and often shrink after menopause when hormone levels drop. Genetics also plays a significant role. If your mother or sister had fibroids, you have a higher risk of developing them too. This suggests that there's a hereditary component to how these cells behave. Researchers are also exploring how certain growth factors, which are substances that help the body maintain tissues, might contribute to fibroid development. Essentially, it's a complex mix of your genetic blueprint and your hormonal environment. Now let's talk about the impact. For some, fibroids are silent passengers. But for others, they can cause a range of challenging symptoms. Heavy or prolonged menstrual bleeding is one of the most common complaints, which can lead to anemia and fatigue. Depending on their size and location, fibroids can also cause pelvic pain or pressure, frequent urination, difficulty emptying the bladder, and even constipation. In some cases, they can interfere with fertility or cause complications during pregnancy. It's so important to listen to your body and speak with a healthcare provider if you're experiencing any of these symptoms. Remember, having fibroids is incredibly common, and you're not alone in this. There are many effective ways to manage symptoms and treat fibroids, so there's no need to suffer in silence. Understanding the why and how behind them is the first step toward taking control of your health. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on women's health. We'll see you in the next one.